In a world full of conventional Hollywood cliches and recurring lackluster sequels, one critic has seen it all who can provide you with all the movie news, opinions, and reviews that could very well save humanity as we know it. This is Libby's Movie Hunt. And now, your host, Libby Hunt. Welcome to Living Hunt. I'm your host, Living Hunt, along with my co-host, Evan E. Oops, sorry, I didn't have my camera. There we go. Hey. Co-host and producer, and today in the studio, we have John Wildman and Vanessa Cook. John Wildman is with Wildworks PR and BestWorks.com, and Vanessa is executive producer of the the, the women... How are we going to call it? The it's it's women, the Women Texas Film Festival. Women Texas Film Festival. So th this is so appropriate for my show because they are going to talk about the Women Texas Film Festival and tell us all about it. It's been a while since we did a film fest thing. I know. It's since the nice. Dallas Film Festival yeah. with John. That, that, that's right. I, every, every once in a while, I'll come around and go, hey, guys, yeah, another well, film festival. It's so much fun for <laughs> me to talk come about. In? I love film festivals. I think they're so important. And your wife, uh, Justina, mm -hmm. started... The yeah. film festival last year. Justina Walford, she she started the film festival, and uh, the way it started when uh, we moved to Texas from New York, where I was I was working at Lincoln Center, and then we moved uh, finally here back to Dallas. And Justina wanted to volunteer for a female-focused film festival, and what she discovered was that one of those did not exist in mm -hmm. all of Texas. Not one. There, there was not a sing there was a, a single a one-night showcase of short films. Mm -hmm. Other than that, there was not a female-focused film festival. And not just Dallas, you mean? Yeah, yeah not just Dallas, Austin. the entire state. The entire state. That's crazy. And our psychology between Justine and I are, is that, well, if this thing doesn't exist, then we'll just do it ourselves. So, so she started it. She's the founder and artistic director. Uh, last year was our, our, the first time that we did this, and it went over like gangbusters. Isn't that great? Um, it, it, it was. It was fantastic because, you know, you, you hope that an event will go off well. But what we discovered was that there was obviously a hunger and a desire uh, for people not just to see great films, we always want to see great movies, but also to support this cause, which is to promote women behind the camera. Exactly. Are, are, are they directors? Are the, I mean, the, all... to, to be eligible for the film festival, uh, a woman has to have had directed the film, produced the film, edited the film, oh. written the film, been a composer or a production designer. It's behind the camera. But obviously on this, each film, they're going to have some men that are involved with it too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 but one, eligible, one of those roles, a, a, a woman has to be eligible. That's great. So, so it went over. And do you give awards stuff. at the and end? We like do give awards. All film festivals? We, we have, uh, we have a, uh, a best feature film and a best short film and then a filmmaker to watch. Oh, great. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And are any of these people we know uh, well, I mean, some or up and coming or uh, new. For the most part, they're 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 new. Last year, certainly, um, uh, one of actually one of our award winners, our best short film, uh, was directed by Amanda Milius, mm -hmm. who was the daughter of John Milius. Oh. Um, and so we so we had a little legacy there. Um, but what was wonderful is that it went over so well that you know you always hope to have growth, mm -hmm. and well, uh, and so the growth this year was that uh, Studio Movie Grill came on board to be our presenting sponsor and also to host the film festival at their no Northwest Highway location. It's a beautiful theater. On Technology Boule Boulevard. Exactly, yes. on Technology Boulevard. And we acquired a brand new executive director sitting right next to me. Yes, <laughs> Vanessa Cook. And yes. so did you have anything to do with the festival last year? I did. I actually mm -hmm. came on as the head theater manager. I have oh, great. quite a bit of experience doing that. Um, I was head theater manager of the Dallas Film Festival, International Film Festival, since 2013 um, for a few years for the Lone Star Film Festival in Fort Worth, as well as Austin Film, film Festival in Austin. Great. So. Yeah, so I just, I have a lot of experience with the operational side so, of the festival, so. What is your background? Working on film festivals, really? or Film festivals and film production. Film production. And right so, now you're actually working on film. Yes, I, that's why I'm in this tank top. Uh, oh, you I, look beautiful. I've been up since 4 a.m. <laughs> working. She's a real filmmaker. I am an yeah. actual real filmmaker. We, pull, um, we, we literally pulled her from the set to yeah. yes. do this interview. <laughs> and I, I don't have an excuse for not dressing up. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're young. Y'all are both young. <laughs> young and cute. Um, well, the, did you go to film school? No, that's yeah. the, the great thing about filmmaking is you, you don't necessarily have to go to film school. Um, I think it's, it's good if you do, mm -hmm. um, but it's not vital. I've always had a love for it. Um, when I was younger, I was a little bit more confused, like, oh, what do I really want to mm -hmm. do? And I, which actually bodes well. I, I'm, a, I'm a writer, mm -hmm. um, so I'm glad that I kind of went out into the world and made a lot of mistakes and experienced things that maybe you know other people who maybe went to film school uh, didn't have. That's a whole other show. So. Um, but you're right about, uh, you know, Quentin Tarantino, one of my favorite directors, mm -hmm. says you do not, he, he didn't go to film school. Mm -hmm. He watched films. Right. And I see three movies a week. I really don't feel like I need to go to film school, except right. for the technical part. I think I could make a film. Exactly. And I'm thinking about it. Exactly. I feel like, and again, this isn't to knock people who've been to film school. I mm -hmm. think it's great. And, it, you know, if you are, you feel drawn to go, then you should go. Um, for me, I just, I didn't make that decision until I was three years into college, mm -hmm. and by the time I decided it, they're like, oh, it's going to be another six years because oh. you have your prerequisites, and I'm like, mm, yeah. I'm good, I'm going to pass. Yeah. yeah, so I went out into corporate America for a while, I, gosh, again, that's another show, I yeah. traveled with a horse race horse racing circuit. Um, oh, you've just, done some fun things. Yeah, I've acquired a bunch of stories. Yes. Um, but then I, you know, I went to corporate America and I was like, this isn't for me. I uh, got laid off from my job and I said, I'm doing film. I, you know, I started off as a background extra just to meet people because mm -hmm. I really didn't know where to start. And then as you meet people, you meet independent filmmakers. Mm -hmm. And so I, my enthusiasm, I guess, was uh, appreciated. And I was asked to be an assistant director for my very first film. It's kind of a silly film, Skunk Ape Hunters in Texas. I believe you can watch Wait, it. Wait, say it again. <laughs> Skunk, <laughs> Skunk Ape Hunters in Texas. Wait a minute. You Where can I watch that it? One down, huh? yeah. I'm not kidding. Where can I watch it? <laughs> I believe it's on Amazon Prime now. Um, that is when, hilarious. My husband. When, when, yeah. That. When. <laughs> People, I have an IMDb, and people go on there and be like, whoa, wait, all these are great, but what is the skunky punters in Texas? Like, nobody wants to hear about anything else but that. That's what I should have um, put up on the screen instead that's of the, I the website. I love I that. Well, um, you know, that's what I tell people. People are always like, how do you, how do you kind of break into this, you know, business living? And I'm like, if you just volunteer on sets mm -hmm. or go to castings or anything, you know, at, say, I'll sign people in, you, mm -hmm. you just meet people. Right. Or go to film festivals. Right. Absolutely. So, you know. One thing, I, I went to Sundance Film Festival this year, and you did too. I did too. The <laughs> only thing I told John is at the film festivals, especially places like that, you don't know, everybody's kind of showboating. And I'm like, who really is, you know, are they, is this the real deal? Or are they really a producer, you know? <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, but That's the thing. I mean, you're, you're, and I think you, you, what's funny about that is that you quickly figure that out. Exactly. Like I, you, if I go to enough of them, I'd figure it out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's one, one of the great things about, uh, you know, having Vanessa come on board. Or, or, or actually mm. accept more responsibility as the executive director <laughs> is that it instantly put kind of like the, the professionalism level up a notch because when you when you run as many sets mm -hmm. um, as, as Vanessa has and you've been um, a, a vital cog in as many film festivals as she has, well then you know how to uh, run things more efficiently and, and run things with an eye to how you take care of, of the film goers, yes. um, you know, and, and, and all that is, is, is so critical. Oh, it's, it's very critical. And, and, you know, like last year, you know, frankly, um, you know, along with doing the PR, like I always do for, for the film festivals, I was like, you know, driving around and picking like filmmakers up. And I was like doing like, you know, five different things. And Justina, who's the artistic director, was was like, like literally um, like putting films into like the projection booths and, and doing like th those wow. things. And, and so we, we, we were all multitasking, which is what you do to pull something off the first time exactly. around, mm -hmm. um, you know, and this year, it is much more of a diverse, you know, uh, crew that we have working with us, and uh, you know, mu much more of an established effort that people are going to see. And do you have volunteers? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Is there a, lot a way of tell people how they can find out about the website? I mean, about the festival, your website, and all that. So the and you know, have the opportunity to volunteer and get involved? Well, I think the best thing to do is to go on our Facebook page, um, look up Women Texas Film Festival, um, and just scroll through. I mean, we've got all of our events on there, our films are on there, um, as well as a link to volunteer. And buy tickets. And buy tickets, of course. Come buy tickets and badges and passes. Exactly. Yeah. Well, or go to www.womentexff.org, too. Yes, yes. Right, right. So, and I think Kevin was going to put that up there so people can 
buy tickets. But yes. if you volunteer, mm -hmm. can you see yeah. some of the films oh, for free? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. That, that's, that's, that's a key thing for uh, any festival that, that I'm with is that there's nothing worse than being a volunteer at a film festival and someone goes, how was it? And you go, well, I heard it was good oh. because I was working the whole time. Mm -hmm. And, and, and we, were, we were so uh, hyper-focused on making sure that our volunteers actually participate because we wanted to be their festival. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, you know, you know, we, we, you know oftentimes, a volunteer is the first person when you go, and you know, because oh, mm -hmm. you know, when you go to a film festival, they're the first person you see. Like at Sundance. And yeah. they're all so friendly because they're mm -hmm. so happy to be there. Mm -hmm. They're having a blast. And that's what you want. And, yep, you know, exactly. and, and because they are, you know, they, they are the, the ambassadors. Mm -hmm. They're the ambassadors for your film festival. So, yeah, so if you volunteer uh, for the Women Texas Film Festival, then you're going to see some movies. We're going right. to get you some volunteers today. Yes. yes. Um, we, and we give high fives. I, <laughs> love, I mean, I love to treat volunteers as just, they're the, part of the family. That's great. So it, I want people to know. No, I mean, when you sign up, I mean, you're part of the team. You're part right. of the family. Absolutely. Well, I love anything with women in film. And, when I, you know, I'm just so supportive of women in film. And I just want to have as there to be more women filmmakers. Mm -hmm. And oh, I want yeah. to see some more Oscars won by women and film directors. I see in your festival you have eight features right. that you'll mm -hmm. show. You have 38 shorts. And then, then you have some VR project screenings. Now, tell me about... That's virtual reality. That is virtual reality. What does that mean? Project. Are people going to go in and put on an Oculus or? What what they will do is uh, in the, in the lobby uh, at the Studio Movie Grill. This is for free. Mm -hmm. you don't, this is something you don't have to pay for. Um, we have three separate experiences that you can you can view. And what it means is that yes, you know we'll put on the headset with the mm -hmm. the, uh, the headphones and everything. Um, one is a. Um, it's uh, called Homelessness 360, and it's just a great experience um, set here in Dallas, made by Dallas filmmaker Susanna Gibb, mm. and and it really kind of places you, which is the, the thing about VR, it places you right in the center of the experience, mm -hmm. you know, in a 360 so way. So like you're so, a homeless person? So, so you, yeah. you are within, a, you're, like you, you are within a camp, you're within their, their experience, you're able to see up close and personal what, what that life is like. And, and it, it's devastating. It, it's 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 mm -hmm. it's an amazing thing. And then on the more entertaining side, um, we have a vein which puts you in the middle of a rave that is being attacked by vampires. So you <laughs> are you that are. Sounds like your deal. I like the sound of this already. <laughs> you you are right in the center of it. So you know as as the rave starts to happen, and then as it gets attacked, you are in the middle. You are right there. So that, I mean, and that's the beauty of, of, of VR. How long is is each little video. Uh, I think I think each one is they run roughly about what six seven minutes a piece. Do you think is it a similar? Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, is it a similar kind of experience to? Uh, and now the the name is escaping me. The action movie that came out last year it was all first person. Oh yeah, the, the I think the oh. uh, hard hat Harry or something. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. It, it 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 is like that except there's also stuff going on behind you. Mm -hmm. You oh, know, okay. That's gotcha. Just, yeah. Yeah. So when you turn, I mean, it's yeah. Your, you look at your feet. You can see what's going. On. You look up here. You look behind mm -hmm. you. So it's actually it's, following it's, your it is all, gotcha. yeah, full yeah, VR it's all around. You. Exactly. you know, at these festivals, they keep having these virtual reality like booth situations. Mm -hmm. I've been to. Is this going to be a thing in film in the future where you'll like there'll be awards or you'll go to theaters and there will be virtual reality films? I do mean, you think? I mean, I mean, I know very, there's 3D. Well, very quickly. Um, you're seeing those, uh, you know, the, those headsets and the and mm -hmm. the, the goggles become cheaper and cheaper, and you know, so we can do it at home. We can watch it at home, so that becomes um, uh, easier for that. But also, what you're going to see very soon is that you'll literally go into a theater, and all of us will watch it or be a part of it at the same time. Like basically, you'll have like you know, tw twenty five to fifty people, and we'll all put on our headsets, and 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 they'll turn it on, and so we're all experiencing it all at the same time. <laughs> that sounds neat. Yeah. Sounds like something kids would like. Yeah. yeah. That, Depending on the subject matter, that could be a yeah a little intense. But, but that, but that, jumping yeah. up. But that, but that is <laughs> that is definitely in our future. And like I said, you know, I mean, I've. I have uh, with VR, you know, I I I've swum with swum with dolphins. I've been on a Star Wars moon. Um, I've I've been literally uh, flying around and and, and and shooting like you know uh, um, aliens, uh, you know, in in, in in the sky. I've been and this was a this was a talk about a, a harrowing experience um, in a um, slaughterhouse in a pig slaughterhouse and mm. literally eye to eye and it was. I did not eat bacon for like a month. Yeah, I was going to say, that's kind of disturbing. I mean, it, it was, but that's yeah, the thing. I'll skip that one. But that's the immediacy. Yeah. That's the immediacy of it. 
Um, and, and you're also you're finding more storytelling done. Like mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, at the Dallas Film Festival last year, we had a thing um, where you were in the place of a woman who had been frozen for three, 30 years, awakened, and she's talking to her grown up kids and everything. But then if you turned your head behind you, um, you saw some doctor talking about some kind of shenanigans that went on while you were frozen, <laughs> and, and you go, oh, wait a minute, what's, what's actually going on here? And, and it was a, it's a series uh -huh. um, done by the director, Randall Kleiser, and so as the series goes on, you find out more of the background, but you have to pay attention to everything that's going on around you. Because it's not just the happy talk in front of you, mm -hmm. but there's stuff behind you going on. So I have a question. So if you don't turn to listen, I mean, you'll miss it. You'll well, miss that portion. Well, of the, or well, that's, well that's the thing. And, and, and so it, it, it lends itself to doing it multiple times, mm -hmm. just like a video okay. game. So the experience yeah. is different each time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of 3D films, though, so I don't know if I'm going to like this. I just like the good old-fashioned sit in the theater and <laughs> watch the movie. And I love 3D. <laughs> yeah, 3D. And I don't those glasses hurt my Ears and, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, listen. But the kids like it. But it all comes the down. Young people. I mean, ultimately, it all comes down to storytelling. Exactly. If you and, don't have a story, it's no good. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, and 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 you know, you talk about like you know the, the features that we have. I mean, we have great stories this year. I mean, amazing yeah, stories. Yeah, they looked great from the lineup. Y'all go on the Facebook page or their website and see the films there. Mm -hmm. Tell them about the opening film and the. Ending film; those are usually really good ones. Right. They're all good, but right, and and, and yeah, and I can and we can both vouch for these yeah. too. Yeah, oh, I love um, them. So and much. then there was Eve. Um, uh, that looked really good to me. This is a jury award winner from the Los Angeles Film Festival. I saw that. The well, Los Angeles Film Festival yes. or Women's Los Angeles. No, 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 Los, Los Angeles. Okay, well, L A F F. So that's good yeah. for y'all. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's a, a jury prize winner, um, and it's a film that starts off as uh, a psychological thriller. Um, and then it starts to segue into more of a love story. Mm -hmm. And what's fascinating about the film, what I found special about it, and, 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 and I, uh, Vanessa will have her own thoughts on it, but what I found really unique about it is that the, the, the psychology of the film lends itself in a way for you to go, well, I don't buy that this person would think this or what have you, but the deeper you get in, you go, oh, wait a minute. I get what's going mm -hmm. on with, with this woman, or I get what, what's going on with, 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 with this person, and which then pulls you even deeper into the psychology of the thing and, and makes the thriller aspect more exciting and makes the love story more touching. And mm -hmm. with these films, we'll, we'll get to the other film in a minute, the directors usually come and some of the actors, which I don't know if you know, guys know this, but at film festivals, what I love about them is always afterwards there's a panel. Mm -hmm. They get up after the film and they, the directors, you may meet, will you be the moderator? Uh, will, Justina or Vanessa you, or myself. Mm -hmm. We'll moderate it and ask the d directors and the actors questions and sometimes they take audience questions and it's fun and fascinating if you love film. It's, well, yeah, it's the everything. best thing because you know you go, how did you make, how did mm -hmm. you figure out how to make all those butterflies land on the clothesline or you know or or you know or what happened in that that action scene? How did you pull that off? And and, and yes, listen, at this point in our lives we can That's watch a film, part. we can watch a film you know in our living room on a big 4k screen, we can watch it on our computer laptop, we can watch it on our phone. We know what we can't do is have the filmmaker actually in our living room mm -hmm. to, to, to grill them on the film and talk about them afterwards. And yes, opening night, we'll have the director and one of the producers. Okay, good. Yes, absolutely. And what about your closing night film? Which What was that? Closing uh, night. Do you want to talk about quality problems? Quality problems. Oh, is that what it's called? Yes. Um, well, it's it's a comedy, so that's already... Which is good and fun. Oh, my comedy yeah. is my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's about a woman who is battling cancer and also trying to throw a birthday party. Um, so she's basically just trying to keep her life together and act as if, you know, everything's fine. And just things are just kind of, you know, it's just the, the circumstances that uh, it's physical comedy. It's funny stuff. I mean, I, I was laughing out loud. I was watching it with a friend and I just kept laughing. They're like, what? what? I'm like, oh, so good. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's a laugh out loud, fun. It's interesting because you hear cancer and you think, mm. oh, this is serious drama. But they they lighten it into a, a relatable way um, so that it's not so heavy. Um, and so, yeah. so few movies make us laugh anymore. Well, yeah. and, you know, and what, I, what I love about this film, it is um, uh, directed and stars a husband and wife team. Oh. And their two kids are also in this film. Mm -hmm. 
And this is the kind of film that I, I am personally someone that like runs screaming from mm -hmm. this kind of film because they go, oh Jesus, it, it's it's a it's a vanity project, and and they're gonna they, they're gonna think they're <laughs> hilarious and and, and but adorable. They are hilarious. And here's the thing, <laughs> is that yeah, by the end of the film, I could have. I could have hung out and watched that the, that couple mm -hmm. another 15, 20 minutes because they're so entertaining. And what's great about that is that when you have those those tough moments, because let's face it, you know she she is dealing with like a reoccurrence of breast cancer, and she's also dealing, her, her her father has al Alzheimer's, and so so there are these tough moments. But because they're entertaining and kind of like this they have your grassroots kind of the way that we we can identify you know it's not like Adam Sandler like wacky stuff yeah. it, you know it, I mean it's 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 stuff that we Relatable. can relate to mm -hmm. that when those tough moments happen they earn them mm -hmm. you know you know it, it's not a thing where you go oh I'm supposed to like cry here because the commercial comes and you know and, and, you know and, and I've been brought up to know okay I've got to do this mm -hmm. no when those moments hit they hit hard because they've earned them and uh, which is great. And the also thing, the other thing, is that there are a bunch of cool uh, movie star cameos. Oh, that, in that one, in, in, people in, in that the will film. recognize people that oh, you'll good. recognize, and uh, and it's all in their community. And um, and we will have um, uh, Brooke Purdy, who is uh, the uh, director, co-director co with her husband Doug. But Brooke will be here, and with Colette Friedman, who is a producer on that film and also a co-writer of the film. Oh, good. Yeah. So, so how many good. films did you have to watch to pick out eight? Hmm. Um, well, that's uh, all Justina, frankly. Yeah, and were there yeah. that many women films even to pick out? She, uh, I believe she went through um, to the choose features, from. I think about 600. <gasps> and, did she uh, watch all 600? Or no, yes. that, oh yes. my gosh. Mm -hmm. yes, how do you watched, even do that? She watched all of them. Um, <laughs> you, uh, and we thought we don't watch a lot of movies. <laughs> you. Uh, I'll tell you, you know, almost every night I would find her asleep over her laptop, um, mm -hmm. ha ha having watched watch films, mm -hmm. and then I would try to like close the laptop and pull away, and then she'd wake up and go, no, 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 and then start watching again. Um, but she might have to I'm delegate that out next year, and she can put me to work to watch some of them. Well, or you? And that's yeah. the thing is, you know, <laughs> typically with film festivals, is you do have screeners, you have people who screen the films, and you know, because you can't watch them and, all. Yeah. Right, and so, but once I kind of feel bad. Once she had narrowed them down, then I was like, oh, now, I'll step in and yeah. watch. Yeah. And, you and, know, and, and, and this was something again great about having you know someone like Vanessa come on is that yes, you know, uh, there were many, many films that Justine would go. I need a second opinion on this mm -hmm. one. I'm a little, a little. Like, Did you watch uh, any of them too? I watched a few of them myself. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so so you do that, and yes, and as we grow, because uh, you know, I'm assuming we're going to grow, then uh, then, then we're yeah, gonna grow. yeah, Libby, <laughs> Libby, you're going to get a phone call. Yeah. Uh, so well, I'll I'll be watching. Tell me, um, well, you and I talked about this when you were talking about the Dallas Independent Film Festival. Why we like festivals. I like them because I love independent film. That mm -hmm. if people always ask me about movies, what's your favorite movie? And I always say some quirky thing that's playing at the Angelica or the Magnolia. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not a blockbuster. So that's. It's a way for independent films to be shown and made. Because like you said, they may never get to be seen except mm -hmm. in a festival. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, so, sorry. I want to step in there. Yeah, no, no, no. So no. tell <laughs> us, tell us why you know independent. You like, yes. Oh, so one thing that I just absolutely love about independent films is the writer-director really gets to see their vision uh, through because you don't have studios and all these producers that are coming in and telling you what you should and should not do um, because you know they've got the money they've got there's all these different elements that aren't even a factor with independent film so this is truly their their passion their vision um, so yeah it's it's I guess an unaltered vision um, and it, it really is like a family environment too. I mean, we we work really hard on these sets. I mean, very long hours. I mean, I think that I get to leave set after maybe 14, 15 hours. Oh, the love that's put into these independent yes. films is crazy. Yes, and so because you you bond over the long hours and just you know coming together to make this vision a reality. Um, I don't know. It just it, to me it, it makes it very makes special. Appreciate it more. John oh, yeah. said something on the last show I've used over and over. You said. There's sometimes films that we just need to see, and you call them broccoli movies. Mm. They're just your broccoli, you know, because yeah. they're yeah. hard to watch. Sometimes independent films. Well, yeah. I, well, I, I often say about independent. Not films, all of them. I, I often say that that um, why I love independent films, or, and, and I love just movies in general. 
Like, I do know, too, I, 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 but independent but, are my favorite. Right, but independent films, what, one of the things that, that gets me is that oftentimes a filmmaker needed to make that film. And, you know, and, and they had to get it out of themselves. Mm -hmm. they, they had to get it out. And listen, you know that with, with, with Bomb City, you know, with, mm -hmm. with, with, with that film, um, you know, I, I, I know very much so the, the, the film that Vanessa is working on. These, these are films that, you know, people are, you know, spending their last dollar to get made. They are using their last um, a waking hour, staying awake to make sure that they get made. They are doing everything because they have a story that they really, really need to tell. That story and get. I know that you know even you know my, my film, The Ladies of the House. That you know it was a four year effort to make that movie. I needed to make that movie mm -hmm. to, to, to mm -hmm. get out and, and, and got it out. And so when I watch those films, mm -hmm. there's something different about them. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there, there's something different about the story that's being told. There's something different about the presentation and what it took to get it on screen that that comes out. You you can't you can't hide it. You can't filter it. Um, you know what that's there, and it's mm -hmm. much different than a film that you know. Um, a you know, studio. Mm -hmm. spent a hundred million dollars to make, and you know, and they're able to shoot just like you know one scene a day. Uh, you know, and, and and a lot of it is you know green screen and, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. what have you. Versus, as Vanessa's saying, where you're you're shooting twelve to fourteen to sixteen hour days, and in your your. You're, you're literally running sometimes from mm -hmm. location to location. You're literally like just scared at, 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 that somebody is going to shut you down mm -hmm. and, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and pull you away from that location before you get that last yeah. shot. Oh, you know? yeah. They're that calling happens. in a lot of favors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we just screened a few months ago Bomb City in Austin. Richard Linklater wanted to screen it because he right. loved it. Yeah. And he stood up afterwards and he, he loved it. He gave it his highest praises. But He's like, you know, this is an independent film because at the end of the movie, the thank yous are, you know, this long. <laughs> yeah. Because you, all the thank yous mm -hmm. you, you pulled mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. But well, um, also, I, I should say that you know, because um, uh, I just wrote about this recently, uh, that Bomb City is up for the Stubbornly Independent Award at yes. the Tallgrass Film Festival. I saw that. One of four films that were selected for that category. And uh, so it's obvious it, it, it is an official selection of Tallgrass and has a chance to uh, win $5,000 and be a gala wow. selection there. Where is Tallgrass Film Festival? Tallgrass is in Wichita. Uh, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas, and this will be the 15th year of that film festival. So it'll be a I've big deal. I've heard about it. So John has FestWorks.com. Y'all should, um, it's a, a blog basically about well, on Facebook or on. Fe Fe FestWorks.com is um, a website that um, I actually, it, it existed uh, before me, but I revamped it into a full on news website to cover regional film oh, fest. festivals. And it's really good. It's really well wit written. Well, you Thank know, you. And, and it's for, you know, again, uh, you know, pretty much uh, f new film news entertainment is relegated now to you know the Sundances and the Torontos mm -hmm. and the Cannes Film Festivals of the world, and they don't really cover, uh, to my appreciation, all of the great regional film festivals mm -hmm. like the Dallas International Film Festival, like Tallgrass, oh. like the Oxford Film Festival in Mississippi. Um, you know, uh, there, there are so many Indie Memphis, um, a number of them, and I think the, the film discoveries are being made there. I think that's great. Well, we we've got to wrap up in a minute, so I want tell us a little bit more about your film. I mean, like we have thirty seconds. Anything else <laughs> want to tell us? Uh, Thursday night, um, ECOT. The day. Uh, Thursday night is uh, is is the seventeenth. Okay. That's opening ne night next is week. Sixteenth. Yeah. Wednesday the sixteenth is opening night. Thursday the seventeenth, ECOT. Um, it is uh, kids meets midnight cowboy. It, it is mm -hmm. an exciting, controversial movie. Um, I'm sorry. trying to even wrap my head around that. Right? Yeah. Kids, think about all that. Right, yeah. Kid, yeah. Yeah. Kids meets midnight cowboy. Friday night is kind of like our, our horror night, our genre night. Um, we have a film called Lilith's Awakening, which is a moody black and that white vampire story. Again. Um, <laughs> what, you know, what woman like struggling with, uh, in, in a small town with tough times and uh, until a female vampire shows up and she shakes up the whole town. Um, we got a shorts block shorts after that. Shorts block, dark minds, dark worlds, which are all creepy, weird um, uh, uh, shorts at night. So yeah, so if you like genre films and horror films, mm -hmm. Friday night's your, your place to be at Studio Movie Grill. And then Saturday, is a huge day for mm -hmm. us. We've got two screens, and I want to plug the comedy block because that's, yeah. I, I, like I said, with comedy is my thing at two. I believe it's at two o'clock.
Yes, it, it is, is 2 o'clock okay. at Studio Movie Grill. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got shorts blocks and feature films all day. Oh, the two documentaries. You haven't talked about Oh my gosh, Why? I have evidence. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, um, and it's criminal. Yeah, uh, the yeah the 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 first one, I am evidence, which mm. is about all the um, the unprocessed rape kits that that are out there, and so uh -huh. women are like you know not only are they victimized in the first place, but then they have to suffer through years and years waiting to see if their or case will even come up. Oh just sitting there. I this read is about produced, that. and uh, Mariska Hargitay from uh, Law and Order yes. appears in it. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Maya Dardell, um, which actually is not a documentary, but that's a film that, that, uh, that uh, premiered at South by Southwest. First chance for Dallas audiences to see that with Lena Olin and Rosanna Arquette. And then the other documentary, uh, It's Criminal, um, about uh, uh, women's prison and, uh, and, and them struggling to, to be um, cared for properly within the prison system. And we're running out of time. Yeah, yeah we are. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just a well, little bit. John and Vanessa, thank you all for coming on. Give Justina our love. We're so proud of her for starting this. And can we all come back maybe next week and talk more about it? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. And we we'll have right. you on the red carpet. Okay, good. I'll be there. So everybody look into their film festival and we'll see you next time. Enjoy the movies.